I am Robert Chafe, and I was the dramaturg on Crippled. Uh, I got involved with this project because I had the great pleasure of seeing a workshop reading of it um, downstairs in this building in the LSBU Hall, I guess about two years ago. And um, I've known Paul for many, many, many years, many, many, many years. And uh, and I was and I knew the story behind the play, and I was deeply touched when I saw um, when I saw the play. You know. And I don't often work as a dramaturg, and I don't often offer myself up in that capacity, but there was something about this play when I saw it that um, the potential of it immediately jumped out at me, and I knew that at very least I had to pull Paul away for like a coffee to talk to him about what I, I saw in the piece, the potential I saw in the piece, and then that led to an extended working period over a couple of years. It was really incredible working with Paul. I find him to be um, really courageous, not only as an artist, but as a person. Um, so the suggestions I had about the piece and the piece being so personal to Paul, the suggestions I had about the piece were um, big and scary and uh, I thought that he just threw himself at it um, as an artist and as a person, he just threw himself at it with such bravery and, and uh, it was a complete joy to see the script blossom under that. I think people should come see Crippled because I, I think it is um, is not only about uh, grief and acceptance, societal acceptance, but it's also about the ways that we feel we fail ourselves in the world. Uh, and, and in the play, in Paul's experience <clears throat> in the play, that's very, very specific. But I think that as it blows out to the general, I think people will walk away from this play, not only having been entertained and having laughed a lot and having a good time, but also uh, connecting with that, connecting with the, the sense of of uh, that idea that you know you, you you feel like a failure sometimes in the world, and you feel like sometimes you fail the people that you care about the most. And I think this play tackles that in a really ingenious way. Mm -hmm.